Hello guys, I know it's been a while since I created a new video. So here we are with a new video on my workflow and half tutorial. I said half tutorial because it's not a full step-by-step -step tutorial and I just explained how I created the shader in this environment. I have created that environment with the help of this reference. So let's start with road shader. We have a pretty simple setup here for our road shader. First this our base cell shader. Then we are using noise texture for pattern details. And multiplying it with shader for some appealing pattern. I am using Voronoi as well. I am mixing them all together with mix RGB nodes. And using glossy node for reflections and gradient to darken the sides of the road. Keep that in mind when you use a shader to RGB node after glossy, you have to use a reflection plane or you won't get any reflection. Now we will continue with our new tree shader. First, we have leaf texture with alpha. Then we have a base shader with two color ramps. I am using leaf texture to manipulate the color of leaves. I am using Voronoi Color Mod to get variations on leaf areas. And using Layer Weight Node for white edges on leaves. The same goes for green trees as well. I was not disappointed with this tree leaf shader. Now as for poles or metal I am using a color ramp with multiple colors. And for concrete stuff I am just multiplying their original base color with cell shader. Now we can see a different metal shader as well. It's not not advanced, but I think we can look at that. I am using gradient for fake reflections on this. And other things are just simple cell shaders. Other things in this scene just have similar shader setup. For rendering I am using mist, AO, and shadow passes. Now we can jump on compositing after a frame render. So here we are on the Blender Compositor. I am using AO Pass to get some warm shadows in our render and shadows pass for the same. And using Mist for some environmental glow. I am using Kawahara Node to get some simplified results. Now we can continue on Premiere Pro. I added an adjustment layer for color correction. These are my settings. It could be different for different scenes and different uses. Then I added some particles and a lance flare as well. So that was the whole breakdown of this scene. Thanks for watching.